Hey everyone, today we're going to dive in the new Away aluminum luggage, which just got here yesterday, just released this week, and I'm excited to dive in because I'm kind of at this point in Away hoarder. I got a lot of their luggage if you saw my other videos. So we're going to jump into this. Make sure you're subscribed to learn about the best menswear on the internet and other cool brands like this. Give a thumbs up for awesome travel gear, and let's jump over to the unboxing. Away has definitely upgraded their packaging from an unboxing standpoint. It packed extremely well and tight. It used to be just a bag with inside the box, but now you've got this additional layer of cardboard. The bag has been upgraded. This is more of a tote with a zipper. I have a few of the old bags, which I do use for other things, I use for storage, but this is a nice upgraded bag. And then the luggage itself, I am frankly blown away by. So we have the luggage right here. Let's go through it point by point for this unboxing and then I'm definitely taking this guy on the road because uh, this is probably my new every single day suitcase. Obviously the upgrade here is the aluminum outer shell. If you look for other aluminum luggage, if you look at first comes to mind Ramoa, that's the one that is all over the place. I think they really made this space in the aluminum. You're looking at at least $1,000 for a carry-on. If you look at Tumi, same thing. And the other one I found was Zero Halliburton uh, and all of those are $700 or more. So the fact that this is coming in at a sub $500 price point is an incredible deal. And you get the away design language with the aluminum casing. The big upgrades here, obviously the handles much more sturdy, no more zippers. You have these two extremely solid clasps on the outside. The handle is probably the only place that I'm still not crazy about. It's a little bit more flimsy than I would like, but it's still, an I can still tell that they did some design changes and upgrades to it to make it a little bit more sturdy. And then of course on the outside you have the toaster designed battery compartment. So as I talked about in my other away video, you can no longer, you cannot check any luggage that has a built-in battery under the plane. You have to take out the battery and now on like Delta they've changed it to where if you have any battery in your luggage you have to take it out. And with the toaster design it's extremely easy and I actually end up taking it out anyway so I can charge on the plane. If you look at some of my original unboxings when I first got the bag, the design was inside of the kit luggage itself. You had to unscrew it and take it out, but the toaster design works around all those restrictions and if at some point they eliminate lithium ion batteries from airplanes entirely, which is going to be tough because cell phones and laptops all have them, then you'll be safe on the luggage. The handles on both ends are extremely sturdy. They are plastic. The hinges and the handles themselves are not aluminum like the rest of the bag, which is, you know, if you want to pay $1,000, you can get the handles to be uh, aluminum as well. But they also have, you can see that there's this soft setting mechanism so that it keeps them nice low profile. And then of course, like on all way of luggage, you have the very sturdy four or eight, however, many, however you count them, wheel design, extremely sturdy Hinamoto wheels. And these have been one of the most premium parts of the bag because I have some other uh, rolling luggage, which the they, they're loud and they're clunky. But it's nice that they brought those right over because the four wheel rolling is a really nice feature. You have these strong clasps on the outside, no zippers. And then on the lip of the entire bag, you have this O-ring like system to help with water resistance. They don't say anything on the website about water resistance or waterproofing. That's just my assumption because it does create a nice seal. And then on the inside, you have the signature compression compartment, which helps you stuff down as many clothes as you want. They also seem to have upgraded the attachment mechanism for the straps on the compression compartment because on some of my other luggage, I've definitely pulled too hard and popped some of those clasps off, but they've upgraded those. And then on the left side of the bag, they have this new clip attachment with a zipper pouch, which is a nice upgrade over the mesh. You can look at my old unboxings for the previous design. So the interior and the exterior got a first class upgrade and so did the charger. This is the bag that the charger comes in. This is a nice little upgrade here. But then the way that the international adapter works with this is ingenious. You have your micro USB charger that comes with a bag so you can plug in the battery. You have the wall adapter with a USB port here on the side and then a standard US plug. But if you want to charge outside of the US, they give you the adapters for UK, Europe, China, Australia, and a few other countries. But instead of it being a proprietary connector like I've seen on a ton of other electronic devices that I've purchased, when you close the US adapter, you can simply slide on the charger for the international adapters and now you've got a full size one. It's, I don't know why people haven't thought of this stuff before. This is an incredible design, so kudos to the Away Design team 
for coming up with that. And then this of course can be used for any iPhone, Android phone, instead of just the laptop battery. So this becomes an incredibly versatile charger. So you know, I did talk about everything in the context of a design upgrade from the other ones. I think they knocked it out of the park with the original Away design and they've taken it a step further with the aluminum, made it a big upgrade, especially now because a number of people at my office have bought Away luggage based on my recommendation, because I do recommend it to nearly everybody. And over time, the polycarbonate plastic is extremely sturdy, but it shows scuffs and wear and tear. And even if you get some of these like Travel Pro, um, you know, the vinyl or the fabric bags, every bag shows wear over time. I think the aluminum will be more sturdy. It'll definitely show scratches and dings and dents, but it's what makes the character of the bag itself. It has enough reinforcements around the rivets and the corners of the bag in order to provide that protection. And so I think the aluminum is a hell of an upgrade on the away bags. I also want to note that this is the regular size carry-on. I was in a rush to try and get this as quickly as possible, and so I ended up ordering the regular size. My recommendation to almost everybody is to just buy the bigger carry-on you can watch my video on that where I talk about you know I've traveled all over Europe and America and have not had any trouble using the bigger one versus the smaller one I think there's not as many benefits to the smaller one as just having the extra space on the bigger size you know when I review menswear companies I try to talk about quality fit style price and overall experience and away uses quiet logistics which is what Bonobos uses and it makes it for extremely fast and free shipping both ways so returns exchanges and they have a hundred day no questions asked return policy. I would strongly recommend you try that out because once you get this out on the road, it's going to be tough to send it back. So you have it, that is the Away aluminum luggage, a first look, and if you have any questions about Away, I've done a number of videos on those, so check it out on the channel. You can also comment below or reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. I also share some behind the scenes stuff, and make sure you stick around because I'm trying to do some cool stuff here on the internet with small brands like Away, where I can feature them and talk about them, and because I buy all this stuff anyway, I talk about them however I want. And so if you have any questions, of course, leave it below, and until next time, this is the Cavalier. Some would like to say we move in. Uh oh, uh oh.